I think when you talk about money and you put a picture of Warren Buffett or Jeff Bezos in there, it's a really good combination. In this episode of The Edge, we are going to be taking a look at an ad campaign driving traffic to a real estate offer. But the interesting thing is in how they are doing it. Hey guys, Jason here with adskills.com. And without further ado, let's take a look at the ad that I stumbled upon. I've been going to the Firefox browser start page for ad inspiration lately. And here's the ad I found. So there's a picture of Jeff Bezos. And the headline says, believe it or not, you can invest in real estate with as little as $100. Well, I don't know what Bezos has to do with that but hey it catches people's attention i think when you talk about money and you put a picture of warren buffett or jeff bezos in there it's a really good combination so let's go ahead and take a look at the landing page all right so right off the bat i see that they've brought a pop-up here so the interesting thing here is the url is moneywise and moneywise is a publisher but here's a pop-up for the company that they're actually sending traffic to who i would assume is their client their advertising client arrive so the interesting thing i noticed about this is that the ad is by moneywise but on behalf of arrived homes so they brought a pop-up here We'll get rid of that. So that's kind of cool, right? They're sending you to an advertorial, but they've done that huge pop-up as another way to get the click. Okay, so here's where they're talking about Jeff Bezos. Thanks to Jeff Bezos, you can now make money from real estate for just $100. So they've got an advertorial here, which looks like just a really nice blog post. Giving the pitch for Arrived. It looks like an online real estate investing platform. Down here, we've got another call to action for Arrived, right? So if you just take a look here at these hyperlinks they're giving you a lot of chances to click through and then down here and again they hit us with that huge pop-up at the beginning so they're really trying to make sure that you click on over to arrived so let's click arrived i'm not going to spend too much time on arrived here because i'm more interested in what moneywise is doing but this is just a quick look at their page where they're trying to get you signed up for their real estate platform showing you at a glance here why real estate beats all of these other investment types but let's jump back on over to moneywise what is moneywise a quick look at their home page they are a huge publishing site all about money and investing right here are their different categories news investing retirement banking mortgages loans insurance taxes they've covered really everything when it comes to personal finance and when we take a look at similar web we will see just how big of a publisher they are i mean i'm impressed when a website's getting half a million clicks a million clicks these guys are getting almost 24 million clicks in this time period right here august through October. Monthly visits almost 8 million. When we look at their traffic breakdown here, we see they're getting a lot from referrals, social, a good amount of organic, not too much on paid search at all, and about a percent and a half on display ads, which if you did the math, that's still pretty significant that they're driving some paid traffic there because if you're getting 8 million clicks a month, even 1% is a decent amount of paid traffic. We see that a lot of their traffic is coming from yahoo.com, which is a massive web product. Property. Also from MSN, another massive property. Look at that. Over 600 million visits there, 33rd in the U.S. So they are getting a ton of traffic. And if you want a quick glance at who their clients are, because they are offering advertising to clients, you can see Masterworks here, who I reviewed in a previous video, Arrived, which is the client that they're sending traffic to in this ad flow. Several of these others may be clients as well. We take a look at their social traffic. I mean, almost all of it's coming through Facebook, very little on these other channels. Pocket is the ad network that I found them from. Similar web is classifying that as social, but they're actually getting that traffic through ads through Pocket. And right here, we see that they are sending Outbrain and Taboola ads as well. The majority of their display traffic is coming through Outbrain. All right, so let's just take a quick look at SEMrush. Quickly here, we see the organic traffic they're getting. It doesn't look like they're doing any paid. So let's just take a quick look at their organic. So here we see that they are 
our ranking for VOO. That is a stock ticker. I actually don't know what stock that is, but I know that stock tickers usually bring quite a bit of traffic. So they're ranking for that. They're actually ranking for Dave Ramsey, ranking for their brand name, other kind of general terms like fun jobs. You can see that they wrote a blog post. Let's just take a quick look at that blog post. Looks like they wrote a big keystone blog post on 41 jobs that pay well. They are doing quite a good job as a publisher on their SEO. Let's jump into AdBeat and see what other types of display ads they're running. This is something they ran back in May. Hmm. All right, so this is something that I covered in a previous video. This Capital One shopping campaign is a, seems to be a pretty big campaign where the call to action is to add it to your browser. And Capital One seems to be partnering with a lot of websites that are talking about money. And hey, Capital One, um, I imagine that is a really nice client to have in your portfolio. So let's take a step back here and and think about what we're seeing, right? I I came to MoneyWise through their advertorial on Arrived, the real estate investing platform. Here we see that they have an advertorial promoting Capital One Shopping. So you see what they're doing there? They are sending native traffic to advertorials, but not on an offer that they own. And they're not even just solely sending their organic traffic, right? All this organic traffic that they're getting. So what I want to point out here is that while they do get massive amounts of organic traffic, and they could probably be very happy just selling that traffic to advertisers, putting ads and native advertorials on their website, but they're going a step further, even though they already have a ton of traffic, they're taking it a step further and sending native ads. So they are paying for native ad traffic to advertorials on their website, which then send out to their client's website. So why would you do that? So let's just analyze this really quickly and break this down. As a typical advertising agency, what you would do, you would often run ads on behalf of the client and send the traffic directly to the client side. What MoneyWise is doing here is they are leveraging their credibility and transferring third-party credibility to Capital One. And I think it's great because, look, MoneyWise is obviously a well-established site that has authority, probably a lot of subscribers, and they are hosting the article on their site. They're getting more traffic by buying paid traffic and sending that to their clients, whether it be Capital One Shopping, whether it be Acorn. So they're kind of giving a boost of authority to be transferred to their client. Even if the user didn't know who MoneyWise was, I can say that this just really looks like a nice, uh, professional, well-branded website, well-branded blog post slash advertorial, right? Just look how crisp and clean this looks. And they're doing a good job here and really trying to transfer the click over to their client. Like I showed you on the previous advertorial, plenty of chances to click, right? With these purple hyperlinks, or is that dark blue? I don't know. And then we go down here, there's a nice reddish orange button. And if that wasn't enough, there's another call to action here. So they are making sure that you've got enough chances to click over because if they're advertising on behalf of their client, they don't want the user to stop here. What really matters is they get them on over uh, to the actual offer. So that is my main takeaway here, how publishers can leverage paid traffic for even more traffic but if you're a small shop, uh, a solopreneur, you have a small agency, you might want to think about doing the reverse to end up with the same result and starting your own publisher sites to send traffic to your clients. All right, so let's make one last stop here and take a look at their YouTube channel. Here's their YouTube channel. And what is pretty eye-opening here is that even though they're getting 8 million visitors a month to their website, their YouTube channel looks fairly new, right? They've only got about 3,300 subscribers. I can say that the thumbnails here look very professional. They've got Suze Orman here. Oh, they've actually got Grant Cardone. That's really cool. But 
their YouTube channel looks pretty new. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? So that can show you that if you are a solopreneur just getting started out, or you're a huge brand like this and you're starting a YouTube channel, you have to start from zero and build your way up. So I think it's cool that they're adding to their media properties here with YouTube uh, to add video into the mix. I think that's a super smart idea. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. This is Jason signing off, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Edge.